Is there any reason why we cannot make a good quality latte or cappuccino or coffee, it's particularly an espresso with the cream, that nice cream on the top? Is there any reason we can't make it while we're on the road without using an expensive electric machine? Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. You might recall the other day we mentioned about cooking a cappuccino while I was on the road. The video I posted last week, for those who've missed it, I'll put a link just over here on how I make cappuccino when I'm on the road. It got me thinking, kind of really miss that really good quality, you know, lattes. I did some research over the past few days and I asked for some advice as well around and I think I might have found a solution to that problem in making your own good in particular espresso and latte. Now when I say espresso and latte cappuccino uh, it's I think it's easier to make the milk for the cappuccino because from my understanding a cappuccino, the milk is more like fluffy, you should just say it's fluffy. Whereas with the latte, it's more of a creamy, smooth texture, which is virtually, I think it's possible to, to gain that texture with that Snow Peak milk froth, froth that, that I shown the other day. Now, don't get me wrong, that cappuccino was perfect, it was great. I'm just going to try to lift it up that one level, bring it up higher, the quality. So in regards to latte though, virtually impossible to do a nice latte with that. So I started doing, as I mentioned, I started doing some research and looking for devices, portable devices that don't cost you an arm and a leg, that's not too expensive. And I think I've found something. I'm not going to tell you what it is now. Okay, but I'll give you a hint. It's actually, it's got a milk frother attachment to it, which is equivalent to what they use in uh, quality cafes. So with a bit of experience, there should be no reason why I will not be able to make my own quality cafe nice silky smooth uh, milk on top of a latte and the other step is the espresso now i've got the aeropress brilliant excellent making a great taste in coffee but when it comes to making the espresso with that nice cream yeah it's not really possible so Last year I bought, when I did some research, I, I bought a device called a Prismo. And I didn't show it the other day. Actually, uh, to be honest, that was, that was two takes it took me to do that cappuccino. Halfway through, well, probably a third of the way through that video, I lost all the footage. I don't know what happened. It just didn't film it. I had the sound because I was recording that externally, but I had no footage. For some reason, my camera just shut down. So I had it mounted on a long focus lens quite some distance away from me. So, and it shut down for some reason. And during that footage, I did go into more detail with the espresso and so on. But when I did, when I did the second take, I, I kind of just skipped, just skipped. I wasn't sure I thought I had that footage on there. So what I used is this Prisma attachment on the base of the, uh, of the AeroPress and it's got a really fine stainless steel filter on it as well. And apparently, supposedly from what I've been reading, it should give you a really nice espresso with the cream. Uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't. I've owned that thing for quite some time and it doesn't do that any of that 
it makes no difference. You might as well just use the coffee. I mean, as far as it could be the coffee beans I'm using too, but we'll talk about that shortly in regards to the coffee beans. So I started looking for some device that you can generate high pressure to get that nice cream. And there's two items I found. One's more like a, a mocha pot. And the other is, well, I'm gonna keep that a secret, but even the mocha pot, it's not a standard mocha pot. It's got an attachment on it that builds up more pressure. So it needs more pressure for the coffee to go through. And that extra pressure is what's given the cream. I watched YouTube videos on it and that's what it shows on the video so uh, i'm gonna new at this so it'd be interesting just to see if the same will come out so these devices i expecting them to arrive late this afternoon but i think it'll be more more like tomorrow so they're currently in the post now the australia post for those that don't know i live on the east coast of australia uh, in the state of queensland in the central coast area and um, basically it's across the water from Fraser Island, the largest sand island in the world. So we'll, we'll do, probably do a bit of an unboxing video. We might film my first attempt at it to see how we go like a complete newbie has never used anything like that before. So it'll be interesting to see how it'll govern if it's easy to use or so on. Obviously, I'll, I'll get the manual out and I read the manual. I, I am a person that do read manuals. So give me, give me, I don't know, give me a few days. I don't expect this items to arrive till late tomorrow afternoon. So let me overnight read through the, the manuals tomorrow night and then the following day, couple of days, and I should have that uploaded by the end of that day or the following day. So it should be good. Hopefully we'll get those nice, good, quality cafe lattes, espressos and cappuccinos. So I'm mainly working on those three. Cool. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. It helps me out enormously if you subscribe. As you can see, I've been updating some gear of late. It's not cheap. So I want to see if I can get my subscriptions up higher to see if I can get some of this money back that I'm investing into the footage that we're using now. So I've got a couple of new mics. This one I'm just using for the first time. So it's a bit of a test. But if you can su subscribe to my channel, it'll help me out a lot. And it'll also help the quality. I, I plan to purchase a new camera so I'll be able to record in full um, 4K in, in really top quality and I'm hopeful I'll be able to purchase that camera within the next four weeks so we'll see what happens in the meantime call it at that and thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe and look out for a new video in the next three four days showing what's coming hey guys just before I go check this out I've got to show you how cool this mic is now there's a strong wind blowing here so hopefully it's cutting out the wind but i'm going to move right back okay now let's just move right back well, i'm just talking to you now a nice soft spoken voice it should be coming through as clear as if I was standing right beside the camera. I'm probably 25 metres away, 25 metres plus. And hopefully it's coming through real clear. So I'll move forward again now. And it's blowing like 10, 15 knots of wind at the moment. I do have a wind sock, a dead sock, on me mic. Uh, but there is another one that I can use that's um, it's actually called a dead cat and it's real flurry, uh, a lot more fluffy. So, yeah, better log off now. <laughs> I just, 
I'm just so excited for this new mic. So I just wanted to show you this mic, how good it is. Okay, thank you. By the way, I hope this is coming through real nice and clear. I've got a new sound system. As you can see, I've got a little lav mic here. So I'm, I'm using a, a Wi-Fi uh, device now. So I can walk anywhere up to 100 meters away from the, the camera and it'll still pick me up as I'm clear as I am standing right now here in front of your camera. I'm, I'm using a DJI Osmo Pocket on a tripod and I've got face tracking on. So you can see, now I normally don't use face tracking, so it appears to be working okay. So it's probably the first time I haven't had much success, well to be honest I haven't had much success with face tracking. So I actually read the manual again about it and learned a bit more about it and set it up again. And I think it's working okay now. So for me that travels mostly on my own. I now can move around and so on as you can see and it should track me quite smoothly. Hopefully it is and hopefully the sound is coming through nice and clear as well.